IPXs. Welcome to Embedded World North America 2025. There's something that I have to share with you and it's on the U-Block stand. It's called the Anna B5 and it's a Bluetooth 6 module that is 6.5 by 6.5 millimeters in dimensions. Now that also includes the antenna. I think it'd be best if we go talk to U-Blocks and find out what this is all about. All right, so we, as I've said, we're boots on the ground at Embedded World in North America. Now, the second that I realized the Anna B5 would be here, I had to come and see it. I had to see it for myself because the claim that you've got, right, the size of it, 6.5 mil by 6.5 mil Bluetooth 6 module. I mean, that is beyond words. I remember how excited I was to get a Bluetooth module down to like two centimeters by two centimeters. This is, what, an eighth of the error? Someone's gonna do the calculations in the comment and figure it out correctly. But I wanna hear about the demo that you've got here first, and then I wanna hear a little bit more about the, the, the module itself. So what is this demo that you got here today? So good morning, welcome to Ublocks. Uh, my name is Hari, and I'm the product manager for a uh, part of our Bluetooth portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, so the demo here that we're trying to showcase is about low power connectivity. Yep. And for size constrained devices especially. So here you see three dice powered by our Anna B5 yep. with the Nordic NR54 L15, mm -hmm. the powerful module from the latest generation of Nordic chipsets. Yep. And uh, all we're trying to show is how you can build such small devices, fully functional devices under these sort of a complex environment, complex conditions. I mean, the this, form factor of this is just ridiculous. Exactly. This is a fully functional end device powered by Anna B5 and Nordic NR54 L15. So th this is a, an epoxy dice, yeah. right? And what, you, what you've got inside of it is you've got the Anna B5 on a PCB that has an IMU in it and a battery and a few capacitors, as we discussed before. I mean, this is just tiny. Have you got that, Mr. Cameraman? That is brilliantly small. Now, you've got a competition going on today, mm -hmm. an embedded world, and we're filming this on the first day. It's Tuesday, and this goes until Thursday. You'll probably see this video tomorrow, and if you do see it in time, you can come here and potentially win. Now, what is the prize for today? Should we describe these rules and I win? Exactly, so the context here is you try to roll the three dice, and if you hit a 13, you mm -hmm. win a special prize. The lucky number. The not lucky number. And today, the special prize is gonna be a Nora B2 EVK. Nora B2 is our conventional module based on NR54 L15. So this Anna B5 and Nora B2, they're both based on the same Nordic and other 54 family. Mm -hmm. And uh, today the prize is we're giving away EVKs of Nora B4. I want that desperately. I want that very desperately. So sure. I'm going to pick up these dice. Yeah. I'm going to shake them in my hand for a second. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to release them. What have I got here? We've got a three, a one, two, and a two and one. <laughs> you see there, a one, two, and a three. That's what well, you got. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got a six, which is unfortunately nowhere near 13. No. I'm going to be coming back later off camera, rolling, rolling, rolling again, and I'm ah, going to win. I guarantee you it, I will win. Good luck. Now, why bother creating a product like this? I mean, this, this is tiny, but why bother going this small? Well, a part of our customer base cares about size. When mm -hmm. they're making Bluetooth devices, end devices, they care about small size at the same time without compromising on performance. Mm -hmm. We wanted to show that here. You can build end product that is this big, powered by a battery that is this big or this small i should say and at the end of the day you can create end products that work in these sort of harsh conditions this is a trade show where there are hundreds of devices that's transmitting right now and all devices are interfering with each other but you still have three devices that's connecting and transmitting and working properly so this is exactly what our customers care about good high quality modules working at extremely competitive and extremely congested environments. Yeah. And that is what we want to showcase today. <laughs> we forgot something very important about this device as well. This small, small, small form factor, 6.5 by 6.5, mm -hmm. includes the antenna. The antenna is physically on the module itself. I mean, this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. We got a man from Nordic in the wings. Mm -hmm. Should we bring him on briefly and we'll Please. talk a little bit more about it? Yes. Brilliant. Please. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Andre, now you're on the hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> now you're from Nordic Semiconductor. Yep. I love what you guys do over there, by the way, at the moment. I'm making a design video, which you'll see shortly, on an NRF 54L15 based Bluetooth node. And this is pretty much what that is, but integrated into an even smaller size. Now, things move pretty quickly. This product is 
just just gone to distributors brand new pretty much yeah. have you already got support for it on the nordic sdk yeah yeah so it's fully supported in the nrf sdk and so we're excited about that as well as ublox has their own software support so you can you can go with ublox support piece or if you wanted to use nrf connect sdk it's it's ready to go nice which one would you go with whatever works best for the solution <laughs> brilliant because I've, yeah. I've been using your um uh your configurator right because i've got a custom module i got my custom pins i'm using them for custom applications so this is already integrated you can pretty much just select this yeah as your board target yeah and it, it's done as simple as that yeah i mean that's brilliant that's the benefit of, of having a, a pre-certified module is the fact that you have full integration of the antenna as well as the pre-certification done so it's a quicker time to market and mm. still getting the benefits that Nordic brings with the NRF 54L15. It's awesome. So also new at the moment, right? All the buzz, what the cool kids are talking about, Bluetooth 6. Yes. Why might someone want to use Bluetooth 6? What's so cool about it? What's involved in this? Yeah, I think the, the buzz is significant around channel sounding. Yep. So the ability to to use a an industry standard, use a Bluetooth 6 standard to be able to do distance measuring. And so Bluetooth 6.0 gives you that capability to do channel sounding. And you know, Ublox is in a position to be able to support that as well. That's awesome. Yeah. So channel sounding is the big one. So device as small as this able to do distance measurements. Yeah. I mean, this is cool. And able to talk in, in crowds like this. I mean, we're an embedded world for Christ's sake. This is a huge event and we've got no problem communicating with these. Yeah, so there's, there's, for a long time, people have been doing proprietary solutions of, of distance measuring. Mm -hmm. And then now that it's become a ratified uh, standard uh, channel sounding, um, seeing support for that, I think that's that's really going to be the next big buzz as to with Bluetooth and a single antenna, even put it potentially with multiple antennas, you can do uh, distance measurements with really good accuracy. Mm -hmm. Now, today's date is the 4th of November. 5th of November, the 6th of November, if you are in Anaheim or California altogether, you can come down and you can try this demo for yourself and you could potentially win some very cool Ublox hardware. Now, if you're interested in that sort of thing, come on down to Embedded World, bring yourself to the Ublox booth, potentially get yourself some free hardware.